Welcome to the Vitamins and Nutrients YouTube channel. Today we are discussing phytotoxins. Phytotoxins are toxic compounds produced by plants. These compounds can be used by plants as a defense mechanism against herbivores and other potential threats. Some examples of phytotoxins include alkaloids, tannins, and lectins. Phytotoxins can also have medicinal properties and have been used in traditional medicine for centuries. Some phytotoxins are also used as pesticides in agriculture. Phytotoxins can be found in various parts of the plant, such as the leaves, seeds, roots, and bark. They can be classified into several groups based on their chemical structure and mode of action. For example, alkaloids are a group of naturally occurring compounds that contain nitrogen and are known for their toxic effects. Tannins are a group of compounds that can interfere with protein digestion, and lectins are proteins that can bind to carbohydrates and disrupt cell membrane function. Phytotoxins can have both positive and negative effects on different organisms. For example, some phytotoxins can be beneficial to the plants that produce them by deterring herbivores or pathogens, while others can be harmful to animals or humans that consume the plant. Some phytotoxins can also have medicinal properties and have been used in traditional medicine for centuries to treat a variety of ailments, such as cancer, inflammation, and pain. However, it's important to note that not all plant-derived compounds are toxic and some may even have beneficial effects such as flavonoids in fruits and vegetables. Phytotoxins can be found in a wide variety of plants, including both wild and domesticated species. Some examples of plants that contain phytotoxins include nightshade plants, such as the tomato and potato, which contain alkaloids such as solanine and tomatine, castor oil plants, which contain the toxic compound ricin, rhubarb, which contains oxalic acid, jimson weed, Datura stramonium, which contains the alkaloid scopolamine and atropine, poison ivy, oak and sumac, which contain a phytotoxin called urushiol, yew trees, which contain the alkaloid taxine, larkspur, which contains the alkaloids delphinine and delphinidine, foxglove, which contains the cardiac glycosides digitoxin and digoxin, milkweed, which contain cardinolides. This is not an exhaustive list, Many other plants also contain phytotoxins, and the presence and concentration of these compounds can vary depending on the species, variety, and growing conditions of the plant. It's important to note that while these plants contain phytotoxins, they may also have beneficial properties as well. Many common fruits and vegetables do not contain significant levels of phytotoxins and are generally considered safe to consume. However, some fruits and vegetables do contain low levels of certain phytotoxins that may be harmful in large quantities. Here are a few examples. Tomatoes and potatoes contain solanine, an alkaloid that can cause symptoms such as nausea and headaches if consumed in large quantities. Rhubarb leaves contain oxalic acid, which can cause kidney stones if consumed in large amounts. Cassava root contains linamarin, a cyanogenic glycoside, which can be toxic if consumed in large quantities. Apples and pears contain small amounts of cyanide-releasing compounds. Nutmeg and mace contain meristocin which can cause hallucinations, disorientation, and other symptoms if consumed in large amounts. Okra leaves contain a small amount of hydrocyanic acid. It's important to note that these fruits and vegetables are safe to eat when consumed in moderate quantities as part of a balanced diet. It's only when consumed in large quantities or in an unprocessed form, the phytotoxins present in them may cause negative effects. Also, many fruits and vegetables contain beneficial compounds such as flavonoids, antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that can have positive effects on health. In general, it is not necessary to avoid foods that contain low levels of phytotoxins, as these compounds are typically not harmful when consumed in moderate amounts as part of a balanced diet.
However, certain fruits and vegetables should be avoided or consumed in limited quantities if they contain high levels of certain phytotoxins, such as solanine in green potatoes or rhubarb leaves, which contain oxalic acid. It's also important to note that many fruits and vegetables contain beneficial compounds such as flavonoids, antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that can have positive effects on health. Therefore, it is not recommended to avoid foods with phytotoxins completely. It's important to note that while some fruits and vegetables contain low levels of phytotoxins, they may also have beneficial properties as well. It's also important to be mindful of the quantity and the way of consuming the food containing phytotoxins. For example, cooking or processing the food can reduce the levels of phytotoxins present in it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative videos like this one.